All right, so we are going to take this toward peacock today, which means this is going to be much more of an upper body and core focus flow. So very much getting to the shoulders, the upper back, um, the entire back line of the body, and just the bracing through your midsection to hold on to the shape. And we will get to that pose at the end of class, so don't sweat it too much right now. Um, I do have one demonstration before we begin, and getting into that bent arm strength here, I'm going to cue this into a flattened version of crow, and we're going to work this into a type of push-up. Now, this doesn't have to be too intense. There's different levels you can take this to. Just moving while you're balancing might be enough. So just work it as best you can and really just feel this out. So what will happen at the end of each sequence here, you're going to be at the front of the mat. You're going to come into a fold to set this up. And you can have the hands about shoulder width distance apart. So press your palms, dig your fingertips down. And then lift your heels, bring your knees outside your arms, and then look forward, lean forward, lift your feet together, keep your knees out wide, keep your toes touching, keep the legs squeezing in. And then from here, just you're going to take it back and forth. You're going to pull your elbows back, dip your shoulders down. It doesn't have to be a lot, but then lift back up. And we'll do it three times. I'll cue it each time, pulling the elbows back, bringing the shoulders down, and then coming back up. And if you really want to take it deep, you can take this back, maybe bring your nose down to the floor. Just see that you can actually lift this back up. And after you've done this three times, we're going to go ahead and take it through the vinyasa from there. So just work it as best you can. Work it at the level that you can. And we're going to have four rounds of this during the sequence from here. So just keep in mind, if you're having trouble, you'll probably be able to take things a bit further as we go further through the class. So just work it as best you can and just feel things out for however far you want to take things. So to set this up, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's come up to the front of the mat and come to standing. And see that your feet are, no, well, feet about hips with distance apart. Bring the big toes in towards center. Take a little bit of internal rotation here. So your big toes are closer to each other than your heels are. And then looking down, lift all 10 toes up off the floor. Spread them out nice and wide. Set them down one by one. Grip the floor with your toes and pull your weight forward as much as you can. Bring your weight back toward your heels. And just center yourself here somewhere in between. Now hold tension as you keep this stance. So keep tension through the thighs to draw the kneecaps up. Hold tension in your glutes to ground your spine. And then keep your midsection tense as well to hold yourself upright in this posture. Let your arms just hang at your sides. Let your shoulders sink down. Let your neck go long. Reach the top head straight up toward the ceiling. Draw your chin in just a little bit. And then just close your eyes. So just take a moment to settle in here. Let your mind quiet down. And then to start to deepen your breathing. So with the inhales, pulling as much air as you can. Try to fill up your lungs. Hold on to all that breath at the top. When you exhale, constrict the back of your throat. So slow your breath down on the way back out. And just work to make your exhales last at least as long as the inhales as you breathe. When you're ready, here, take a deep inhale. And with the exhale, just open your eyes. And go slow. With an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, hands down through heart center. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, hands through center again. Inhale, arms up high. Exhale, through center. Inhale, reach up high. With the exhale, this time lean to the right. Right arm reaching down. Stretch your left arm right. Gaze up high. Press your hips to the left. Inhale, bring it up through center. Exhale, lean left. Left arm down. Stretch your right arm left and look up. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale, lean this right again. Try to take it farther. Inhale, up through center. Exhale, lean left. Inhale, back up through center. Now with the exhale, lean this right one more time. Hold here, right arm toward the floor. Stretch your left arm right. Press your hips left. Pull your left shoulder back and try to open your chest toward the ceiling as you're looking up. Take an inhale. Bring it up through center. Exhale, lean this left one more time. Left arm down. Stretch your right arm left. Pull the right shoulder back and look up toward the ceiling. Keep breathing here. With the next inhale, back to center. Reach up. Now with the exhale, pull the elbows out wide, let your head fall back, hold here, keep your chest open. Now we're going to go back and forth, working from the shoulders, you're going to stay standing, keep in mind. But while you're here, take an inhale. With the exhale, slowly chin to chest, reach the arms forward and down, bring your shoulders forward. 
And then inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, chin to chest, shoulders forward, reach down. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, chin to chest, shoulders forward, reach down. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide. Exhale, chin to chest, reach down, bring your shoulders forward. Inhale, pull back, open up, elbows wide, hold here. And then bring your hands to your low back. Palms open, elbows out wide, keep your shoulders drawn back, look forward. And then from here, we're going to take this in a little bit of balancing. So go ahead, put the weight to your left foot and lift the right foot up, up off the floor. Now hinge from left hip, bring the right hand all the way down. Just take it slow. Now if you can take it deeper, bring your belly to your left thigh, maybe touch your right knee to the floor, but keep the foot lifted. And then bring yourself back to standing, both feet down. Take it on the other side, weight on the right foot, lift the left. Hinge forward, bring your left hand down to the floor. Now you can bring your belly to your thigh, maybe touch your left knee down, try to keep that left foot lifted. And then press back up, back to standing. We'll take a couple more rounds. Wait till your left foot lift the right. Hinge forward, right hand down to the floor. Maybe touch the right knee down. Lift back up, back to both feet. And then on to the left foot, lift the right. Hinge forward, bring the left hand down to the floor. Take it down low, maybe touch the left knee down. And then come back up to standing again. Wait till your left foot lift the right. Hinge forward, bring your right hand down. And maybe touch your right knee to the floor. Come back up, back to vertical. And then wait to the right foot one more time, lift the left. Hinge forward, bring your left hand down. Maybe touch the left knee all the way down. Come back up to standing. With both hands behind your back. Now I'm just going to turn for the camera here. But look down at your feet. We're going to take this into a Hindu squat. So the feet are hips with heels and toes out. And then keep your shoulders back. Try to keep your spine vertical. Now lift up onto your toes, heels high. Keep the heels lifted. And then bend the knees, move them forward, heels stay high. Try to keep your spine upright, sink as low as you can, ideally down to the heels. And then just bring it back up, back to standing, and set your heels down. Again, heels up high, shoulders back. Sink straight down, try to keep your spine tall. And then bring it back up the vertical, and set your feet flat. Again, heels up high, sink down low, let your knees go forward, keep your shoulders pulled back. Come all the way up, and set the heels down. We'll do it two more times. Lift your heels. Sink down, knees fold, keep your chest open as you come down low. Lift back up and set the heels down. One more time, heels up high. Sink straight down, knees forward as they bend. Now come down low and then this time bring your hands down to the floor. And then step your feet back, come down to all fours. And go ahead and move around, stretch your hands, stretch your fingers with the shoulders and hips, move side to side and just feel things out. And then just bring this into center. We'll take this into the wrists. Now keep your hips stacked over the knees, but slide the hands in a little bit closer. Maybe about two hands lengths forward. Now make your hands to fist. Make four fingers in your palms, thumbs outside. And press your fist down to the floor. Now with your hands shoulder width, just go side to side. Bend the right wrist, come to the back of the right hand, keep the fingers curled in. And then lift back up onto the knuckles. Do the same on the left side. And then come back up and keep going back and forth. Now keep your fists clenched as you move. You can bend the elbows deep if you need to back off. And if you want to make it more intense, try to hold your arms as straight as you can as you bend the wrists. Now the next time you bring the back of the right hand down, keep it down. Come to the back of the left hand as well. And then press the hands together like you're punching one hand to the next. Now try to press up, straighten the arms as much as you can. And then we'll take it down side to side. So when you're ready, bring the right elbow all the way to the floor. And then lift back up. Bring your left elbow down and come back to center. And keep on going side to side like this. Now as you're moving, each time you come back into center, try to straighten your arms as best you can. And then just give this another round or so. Now try to finish with the left elbow on the floor before you come back up to center one more time. And then go to release this. Come up onto the fingertips. And we'll take one more stretch from here. Now I want you to bring your knees out wide, wider than your hips. Point the toes in toward each other. This is one of the setups that will take us into peacock. Walk your hands in close. Keep your seat low to your heels. Now you're going to set your hands down on the line that you can draw between your knees. Palms down. Fingertips to the side. Middle finger at least 90 degrees right or left. And if you can go further, try to point the fingers toward your feet. Now set your hands down flat. About shoulder width. You can go wider or narrower. But keep your seat low, pull your chest forward between your upper arms, and bend the elbows in so you're pressing to your rib cage, or maybe the muscles of your core. It depends on how long your arms are here. Now keep that weight on your hands. Keep gripping with your fingers. Pull your chest forward like you're holding a back bend. 
and then see about taking things further. Now, you can bend the elbows, bring the shoulders forward a little bit. And then come back up and keep the weight on your hands. And keep moving back and forth like this. Now try to keep looking forward. Keep your knees wide. Not too fast here. If you want to go low, that's fine. But don't put your face on the floor. And then the next time you come forward, stay forward. Look forward. Keep gripping with your fingers. If you can take it further, just lift your right knee for a moment. And then set it down. Lift your left knee. Set it down. Right knee up again. Set it down. Lift your left knee and set it down right knee one more time bring it down lift your left knee one more time set it down now grip the floor see about lifting both knees and then bring your knees down come up onto the fingertips onto your heels take a moment to shake your hands out and just loosen up your fingers and loosen up your wrists and once the hands are ready bring your legs out from underneath you come to a seat we'll set this up for boat so when you're seated, take hold of your knees, squeeze your thighs in toward your chest and lean back. Take the weight off your feet, find your balance. Now sit this up as tall as you can, keep the thighs pulled in close. But then release your grip, arms at your sides, and bring your shins toward parallel with the floor. Now from here, we're going to go back and forth, just lowering and lifting. Keep your core braced. But lean back, extend your legs lower halfway, and then pull back up. Lean back again for two, and then lift back up. Lean back a third time. Lift back up. Lean back one more time. Now stay here. Look forward. Bring your hands together. Interlace the fingers. Point your index fingers forward. When it twists, stay with me. So roll to the right hip and point to the left. And then roll to your left hip and point right. Back through center. On to the right hip. Point left again. Bring it to the left hip. Point to the right. Legs together. Come on to the right hip. Point left again. Come back to your left hip and point right. Two more rounds. Bring it to the right hip. Point left. Back to your left hip. Point right again. Over to the right hip, point left one more time. Bring it to your left hip, point right. And then come back to center, stay lifted. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, just release. And once you're down, just take them all, wiggle around, shake things out a little bit. And then when you're ready, bring your knees to your chest, bring your hands to your knees, squeeze everything in tight. Now, when you're ready here, just release your grip and bring your feet to the floor. I want to set this up for bridge. So feet and knees, hips with distance, bring your heels in close to you. Start with your low back basically flat. Now, reach your arms straight out to the sides, right and left. Keep the elbows in line with your shoulders, but bend the elbows so your forms are vertical. Make your hands into fists. Keep the fists clenched. Keep your elbows and shoulders pressing down and keep your gaze up high. Now, let's take it up and down from here. So pressing your feet, squeeze your glutes, lift your hips, and then roll your spine back down. Press to the floor, lift your hips high, and then roll this back down. Lift your hips up again, squeeze your glutes, bring it back down to the floor, press your hips up high, and then lower back down. Dig into your heels, lift your hips, and then bring this back to the mat. Press to the floor, hips up high, and then roll back down. Lift your hips, squeeze your glutes, bring it back down again. Now press to the floor, hips up high, stay lifted like this. Now dig down with the heels, keep your glutes squeezed and keep the heels lift, well keep the hips lifted and bring the arms down to your sides, palms to the floor. Now with your hips still high, hold that tension in your glutes. We're going to twist from here. So lift your right hand up off the floor and then reach your right arm up and to the left past your head and try to stack your shoulders and then come back into center. Hips stay high. Reach your left arm up and to the right and twist and then bring it back to center. Right arm up and to the left again. Hips are still lifting. Bring it back to center here. Left arm up and to the right side. And then come back to center, hips up high. Right arm up and to the left one more time. Come back to center, back to bridge. Left arm up and to the right one more time. Bring it back to center, hold here. Dig into your heels, lift your hips up high. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, just roll it back down. Once you're down, knees to chest, hands to knees. Squeeze everything in tight. And then curl into this. Lift your head and shoulders. Bring your nose close to your knees. Now go across at the ankles. Roll forward to a seat. And then come further to your hands in all fours. Once you're in all fours, just move around. Stretch your hands, stretch your fingers. Let the shoulders and hips move side to side and just feel things out. All right, and then from here, we're going to take this into a modified side plank. So wrists with the shoulders, knees underneath the hips to set this up. The right side will be the base. Step the left foot behind the right. Bring the left hand to your hip. 
Now just keep everything stacked and open to the side. And then to take it further, take a half bind, left arm behind your back, keep the shoulder drawn back. Lift the left foot up off the floor. Now just move your left leg, bend the left knee, big toe touches the floor down behind you. Swing the left leg forward and bring the heel to the floor. Left big toe down behind again. Swing the leg forward, touch the heel to the floor. Left big toe down behind. Swing the leg forward, touch the heel down. Left big toe down behind. Swing the leg forward, heel to the floor. Left big toe down behind. Swing the leg forward one more time. And then come back to all fours. And let's go ahead and set it up for the other side. Left side's a base. So step the right foot behind the left and the right hand to your hip. And just go ahead and be sure you can keep the, everything stacked. Go ahead, take your half bind, right on behind your back, keep the shoulder drawn back, and lift the right foot up off the floor. Now bend the right knee, big toe touches down behind you, and then swing the leg forward, bring the heel down. Right big toe down behind. Swing it forward, bring the heel to the floor. Right big toe down behind. Swing the leg forward, touch the heel down. Right big toe down behind. Swing the leg forward, heel to the floor. Right big toe down behind again. Swing the leg forward, heel to the floor. Right big toe down behind, one more time. Swing the leg forward, touch the heel down, and then come back to all fours. And we'll take another round. So still in all fours, right side will be the base. Step the left foot behind the right. Left hand to your hip, and again, just stack everything, stay open to the side. Now this time, stretch your left arm past your head, reach this out long, and lift your left foot up off the floor. Now take an inhale here. With the exhale, squeeze in elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee one more time. Now with your left hand, reach for your left foot. Once you've got that grip, pull it behind you. Now kick into your left hand. Let this pull your shoulder back, but keep your balance. Stay open to the side. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, release this. Both hands down, both knees down. From all fours, let's take all that on the other side. Left side's a base. Right foot steps behind the left. Right hand to your hip. And then once you're ready, reach your right arm past your head, stretch this out long, and lift your right foot up off the floor. Now take an inhale here. Exhale, squeeze in, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee again. Inhale, reach. Exhale, elbow to knee one more time. Now with your right hand, reach for your right foot. Once you've got that grip, kick into your hand. Let this pull your shoulder back. Keep your balance. Keep breathing. Take an inhale. And then with the exhale, release. Bring everything down. Come back to all fours. Move around. Now you can stay here and breathe. Take a break. Maybe take another stretch. But when you're ready, tuck your toes straight. Your legs, hips up high. Find your down dog. Once you're in your down dog, look at how you set this up. Hands about shoulder width distance apart. Flatten your palms and feel some weight toward the base of your thumbs. Sink your chest low. Reach your hips high toward the ceiling. Draw in through the belly. Round the low ribs. Keep your core engaged and keep your hips reaching. If your legs are tight, just bend the knees. And you can always pedal out and keep your hips moving side to side. Now when you're ready here, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees. Look forward. Step to the front. Take a ragdoll fold. Feet, hips with distance apart, deep bend in the knees. Let your belly touch your thighs. Let your head hang. Let your spine round. Let everything go long and loose and let the muscles in your neck relax. Now you can hang your hands to the floor. You can reach to opposite elbows if you like and maybe shake this side to side to loosen further. And then when you're ready, just release any grip that you have. Keep your knees bent to begin. And then just slowly restack your spine, round this up to standing. Bring your head up last and then just open up your palms at your sides. When you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. And then with the exhale, just bring your hands down to heart center. Now take a moment to breathe, set an intention. Let your mind clear, find your focus. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release your hands. Now at the next inhale, reach your arms up high. And with the exhale, slowly fold this forward. Hinge at the hips. Start with a straight spine. Put a little bend in the knees. Keep your core engaged. Move smoothly. And then release this at the bottom. Now with an inhale, lift it up halfway. Fingertips to the floor. Or to your shins. Lengthen forward through the crown of your head. And then bring your hands to the mat and step this back to high plank. Now find your shape. Wrist the shoulders. Palms pressed down. Press the floor away from you. Press your spine toward the ceiling and just keep that lift. 
Take an inhale. And with the exhale, slowly bring your shoulders forward as the elbows bend. Keep your body in line. Elbows pulled into your sides and lower with control all the way down into your belly. Now, once you're down, flatten the feet up behind you, hands under the shoulders, elbows into your sides. We'll take it up and down through low cobra. So with an inhale, just peel up your head, neck, and chest. Exhale, roll this back down. Inhale, peel this up again. And now with the exhale, lower. Inhale, peel up one more time, stay lifted here. Now keep the lift in the upper body, press your feet down, squeeze your glutes. And then take some or all the weight out of your hands, elbows at your side, draw the shoulders back, look forward. And then lift it up higher. Take an inhale. With the exhale, roll back down. Now reach your right arm forward, left arm lays down at your side. We're going to take a half bow variation. Now bend the right elbow. That forms power to the front edge of the mat. Bend your right knee, reach back with the left hand, and find your grip. Now with an inhale, lift your head, neck, and chest, and look forward. And then use the right arm. Push into the floor. Draw your chest forward as much as you can. And then kick into your left hand. Now as you're kicking, pull your left shoulder forward to lift your right knee. Left foot kicks down. Bring the weight toward your belly. Keep breathing here. Take an inhale, and with the exhale, release this. Once your chin comes down, switch it out. Right arm at your side, left arm reaches forward this time. Bend the left elbow, that forms parallel to the front. Bend your left knee, and reach with your right hand, find the foot. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, lift your head, neck, and chest, look forward. Focus on the left arm, pull your chest forward, crown of the head toward the ceiling, and then kick into your right hand. Draw your right shoulder forward, lift the left knee higher. Kick your right foot down again, bring your weight toward your belly. Keep breathing here. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bring it all down. Now turn to the mat, hands back underneath the shoulders, elbows pulled into your sides. Press your palms down. We're going to set this up for upward facing dog. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, straighten your arms. Pull your chest forward. Let your hips hang, stay on the tops of your feet. And keep your legs active. Work to lift your knees. Take it further. Kick your feet down. Squeeze your glutes. Pull the hips forward to deepen the arc through the front. Lift with the arms. Lift with your shoulders. Keep your neck long. Keep your chest pulling forward. Deep inhale here. And with the exhale, pull your belly in. Hips up high to down dog. Paddle out. Let your hips move side to side. And we'll take it through the sun salutation. Steady movement here. Take a deep inhale. Now with the exhale, just bend the knees. Look forward. Step or float to the front. Inhale. Lift this up halfway. Exhale. Fold back down. Inhale. A standing. Reach the arms up high. With the exhale, fold all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift. And with the exhale, hands to the mat, chaturanga's X. High plank to low. Now with an inhale, open up your chest, lift your gaze up, dog or cobra. Exhale, pull your belly in, hips high to down, dog. Two more rounds, keep it steady, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift it halfway. Exhale, fold down. Inhale to standing, reach up high. And then with the exhale, bring it back down again. Inhale, halfway lift. And with the exhale, hands to the floor, high plank to lows next. With an inhale, open up, pull forward. Exhale, draw back in and lift your hips. One last round, take an inhale. With the exhale, bend the knees, look forward, step or float. Inhale, lift up halfway. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to standing, reach up high. And then exhale all the way back down again. Inhale, halfway lift. And with the exhale, set the hands, chaturanga. With an inhale, open up, pull forward. Exhale, draw it all in. Lift your hips up. Just find your downward facing dog and breathe here. Now from your down dog, inhale the right leg high behind you. Bend your right knee, hang your right foot left, come into your scorpion dog, stack your hips. With an inhale, straighten that right leg through like a dog. Exhale, bring it forward, knee to chest, shoulders or wrists. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale forward, knee to chest. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale forward, knee to chest, stay forward like this. And we're going to take it to side plank. Now the left hand's your base. Roll to the outside of the left foot. You can bring one foot down, one knee down, or stack your legs. But keep your hips up high. Reach your right arm high. Hold here. 
and he can stay like this. Now, if you want to move, we'll take it from side to side. So for that, bring your right hand down, roll through center, left arm high, and then bring the left hand down and reach your right arm up. Back through center with the right hand down, left arm high, hips stay lifted. Bring it through center with your left hand down, reach your right arm high and hold here. Now keep your hips lifted, maybe lift the right leg off the left. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring the right hand forward, right foot forward, low lunge. Now take it to a kneeling lunge. Bring your left knee down, left foot flat behind. Hips are squared. Bring your hands to your hips and bring your torso all the way upright. Now once you're ready here, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, pull the elbows back, open up your chest and let your head fall back. Inhale, reach this up, look forward. Exhale, elbows wide, open up. Inhale, the arms up high. Exhale, open up one more time. Elbows wide, hold here. Pull the shoulder blades toward each other. And just let your head fall back. Keep your left foot kicking down. Keep your glutes engaged on the left side. Hips pressing forward. And just keep breathing. Now, as you hold this, bring your hands to your low back. Palms open. Elbows wide, shoulders drawn back. And then just bring your torso upright. Look forward. Now, when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your left arm high. With the exhale, twist. Bring the left arm down past your right thigh. Now, draw the right shoulder back and look toward the back of the mat. And just keep your twist. This is enough. But if you want to take it further, you can bend the right knee, sink that left hip down and forward. Maybe kick into the left foot and hover that knee up off the floor. Just take it to where you can and keep your twist. Take an inhale. Now with the exhale, release both hands down around the right foot. Tuck the toes of your left foot, lift your left knee, come up to low lunge. Make sure your feet on two separate tracks, hips with distance side to side. Now when you're ready, hands to your hips, bring yourself all the way upright, find your high lunge stance. So deep bend of the right knee, left leg toward straight, left hip forward, right hip back, keep your spine tall, and reach your arms up high. We'll take a short sequence from here, we'll take the first round slow. So just lean forward, reach your arms behind you, still in that lunge. And then when you're ready, press into the right foot, lift the left, come toward a warrior three. So everything in line, and maybe your body's toward vertical, maybe more like parallel to the floor. Try to keep your hips squared. Now bend your right knee, set your left foot down, you're still leaning. Inhale, reach up high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. We're going to hold this. Now keep your hips squared. Keep looking forward. Hold your balance. And then slowly bring yourself upright, hands to your hips, left knee lifted. And then switch it out. The left foot will be the base. Come to standing with your right knee high. Now once you're stable, take an eagle bind with your legs. Right leg crosses tightly over the left. Now squeeze your legs together, sink your hips down toward the floor. You can always touch your right foot down if you need to. Take a half bind, right arm behind your back, keep the shoulder pulled back. And reach your left arm high. Now work this as a twist. Bring the left arm across your body, left arm in contact with the right thigh. Right shoulder back, left shoulder forward, look forward. You don't have to take it too far. But if you want to go deep, slide that left arm down, keep looking forward, and keep the right shoulder lifted. Keep your legs squeezing and keep breathing here. Now with your next inhale, straighten your left leg, lift your right knee, hands to your hips. And then set the left foot down, or set the right foot down next to the left. With an inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold this all the way down. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set the hands, we're going to take this into that low crow. Now bring your palms down flat, grip the floor with your fingers. Heels up, knees outside the arms, we're going to flatten it out. Now look forward, lean, take it slow, lift your feet together, toes to touch, keep your legs squeezing in. Now as you look forward, pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders a little or a lot, and then lift back up. Pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders down, and then lift back up. One more time, elbows back, dip your shoulders down, lift up one more time, and then take a few vinyasa. Once you find the down dog, move around here.
and we'll take it on the other side with your next inhale raise your left leg high bend your left knee hang your left foot right come into your scorpion dog stack your hips with an inhale straighten this out through like a dog exhale bring it forward knee to chest shoulders over wrists inhale your left leg high exhale forward knee to chest inhale the left leg high exhale forward knee to chest stay forward now take it to side plank, right hands your base roll to the outside edge of the right foot. You can have one foot down, one knee down, or stack your legs, just keep your hips lifted, left arm high. Now if you're going to move with this, roll through center, left hand down, right arm reaches up, come back through center with the right hand down, left arm up high. Bring it through center, left hand down again, right arm reaches up, back through center with the right hand down, left arm high, and hold here. Now keep your hips lifted, gaze up high, keep breathing, maybe lift the left leg off the right. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bring the left hand forward, left foot forward, low lunge. Take your kneeling lunge, right knee down, right foot flat behind, hips are still squared. Hands to your hips, just bring your torso all the way to upright. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, reach your arms up high. Exhale, elbows out wide, open up your chest, let your head fall back. Inhale, reach this up, look forward. Exhale, open up again, elbows wide. Inhale, reach up, look forward. Exhale, open up, elbows wide, hold here. Now keep your chest open, shoulders drawn back, right foot kicking down, keep the glutes engaged on the right side. Keep breathing with this. Now as you hold this, bring the hands to your low back, elbows wide, shoulders still pulled back. And then slowly just look forward, bring your torso upright. Now with an inhale, reach your right arm up high. And with the exhale, work the twist, right arm down past your left thigh, draw the left shoulder back and look toward the back of the mat. Good enough here, but if you want to go further, you can slide the right arm further down. Further still, maybe bend that left knee, pull the right hip down and forward. If you want to take it even further, you can kick into the right foot and hover the knee. Keep your twist however far you go with this. Take an inhale. Exhale, release both hands down around the left foot. Tuck the toes to the right foot, lift the right knee, come into a low lunge. And again, here, seated at the feet on two separate tracks, hips with distance. Hands to your hips, just bring yourself all the way upright again. Deep in left knee, right leg towards straight, right hip forward, left hip back. And then reach your arms up. And again, we'll take that sequence slow for the first round. So just lean forward, reach your arms behind, look forward. And then press into the left foot, lift the right toward your warrior three, everything in line, maybe toward vertical, maybe parallel to the floor. But then bend your left knee, set the right foot down, you're still leaning. Inhale, the arms up high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three. Exhale, step it down. Inhale, arms high. Exhale, lean forward. Inhale, warrior three, stay here. Keep your hips squared, keep breathing, keep your balance. And then slowly bring this up to vertical. Right knee lifted. And then switch it out. Right foot will be the base. Come to standing with your left knee high. Woo! All right, once you got your balance, see if I got my balance here. Go ahead, take the eagle bond with your legs. Cross the left leg tightly over the right. Now squeeze your legs here, let the hips sink down. You can always touch that left foot to the floor. Now once you're ready, take a half bind, left arm behind your back, keep the shoulder drawn back, reach the right arm high, and then bring the right arm across your body, past your left thigh. Now right shoulder forward, left shoulder back, keep looking forward. If you want to go deep, you can slide the right arm further down. Keep the leg squeezing, keep looking forward, just take it to where you can. Now with your next inhale, straighten the right leg, lift your left knee, hands to your hips. And then go ahead and set your left foot down. With an inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold all the way down again. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set the hands, let's take it back to crow. Palms down, grip your mat, and then lift your heels. Bring the knees outside your arms. Look forward and lean. Go slow, but lift your feet together. Toes to touch, keep the legs squeezing in. Now pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders down. Squeeze in and lift back up. Pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders down. 
and then squeeze and lift. Pull the elbows back, bring your shoulders down. Squeeze and lift back up. Take it to your vinyasa when you're ready. From down dog, we'll take this to the other side, or the next sequence, I should say. Inhale the right leg high. Bend the right knee, hang the right foot left. It's stack your hips. Find that scorpion dog. Inhale, straighten your right leg through like a dog. Exhale forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale forward, knee to chest. Inhale the right leg high. Exhale forward, knee to chest, hold here. And take your side plank, left hand to your base. Roll the outside of the left hip. One foot down, one knee down, or stack your legs, but keep your hips lifted, reach your right arm high. If you're going to move, roll through center. Right hand down, left arm reaches up. Back through center with the left hand down, right arm high. Bring it through center with your right hand down, left arm reaching up. Back through center with the left hand down, right arm reaching high. Stay here and maybe pull the right leg up off the left. Take an inhale. With the exhale, right hand forward, right foot forward, low lunge. Now from here, let's take warrior one. With an inhale, drop your left heel. Hands to your hips, bring yourself all the way upright. Now deep under the right knee, straight left leg, both feet flat, left foot points aside at least a little bit. Pull the right hip back, left hip forward. Be sure you're squaring the hips. You can always widen or shorten the stance. Now once you're ready, hands to your low back, interlace the fingers, pull the palms together, keep your shoulders drawn back, keep your chest open, and keep the hips squared like this. Take an inhale. With the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest. Come down low inside the right thigh. And then lift back up, come back to vertical. Again, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, come down low inside that right leg. And then lift back up. One more time, hinge from the hips, bring yourself low inside the right thigh, stay low this time, and maybe just stay here, keep your spine long. Now, if you like, you can hang your head around your spine, maybe press your knuckles up toward the ceiling and stretch the shoulders. But keep the right hip back, left hip forward. If you want to go deeper, try to touch your torso to the right thigh, and maybe even straighten your right leg. Now take an inhale, and with the exhale, release both hands down around the right foot. Now lift your left heel, slide the left foot back, come back to low lunge. We'll take it from here to warrior two. So with an inhale, drop your left heel, lift your torso, one of the arms. Open out to the side, and give yourself a moment to set this up. Deep out on the right knee, straight left leg. One line from the front heel to the back arch, let your hips sink low. And then go ahead and reach your arms up high. Keep the arms parallel, palms facing in, and keep your shoulders lifted. Keep reaching long, back and forth like this. With an inhale, just reverse. Reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend this forward. Keep looking up. Inhale, reverse this. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Now, inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend it one more time and stay forward. Left hand to your left hip. Now you can rest the right arm on the right leg good enough to stay open to the side. If you can go further, reach your right arm down inside the right leg and use the tension to hold the pose, arm and leg pressing into each other. Now if you can take it further still, you can slide that arm down, but bend the elbow, keep your hand off the floor. Try to tuck the right hip under the left. To take it even further, you can sweep the left arm forward and reach with the bicep above your ear. You're still looking up. Maybe straighten the right leg if you want to take it even further still. With your next inhale, bring yourself up, right hands to your hips. Turn the right foot parallel to the left, and we'll take it to the left side. Now bend the left knee, lean left, lift your right heel, drag the right big toe over to all the weights on your left foot, and come to standing with your right knee high. Now once you got your balance, right hand to your knee, pull it out to the side. Good enough right here, but if you want to go further, reach your left arm down at your side about 45 degrees. Maybe look down your left arm. Maybe start to lean left and lift that right knee higher. Now, if you want to take it further, further than this, you can reach the right arm inside the right leg, find the big toe. If you have that grip, you can pull the knee up higher or extend the leg further, but you're still leaning. Now, slowly from here, just bring your torso up, right hands to your hips, right knee still out to the side. Step the right foot to the front of the mat. Lift your left heel and square the hips forward. And then the right foot's your base. Come to standing with your left knee high. 
Now once you balance here, take your figure four, left ankle crosses the right thigh, keep the toes curled, keep the knee to the side. Sink into your stance and keep the left leg pressing into the right. Now take an eagle bind, reach your arms out wide. Left arm under, right arm over, cross at the elbows, palms to touch, thumbs toward your face. Keep the arms squeezing, shoulders down, elbows up, keep looking forward and maybe sink down further. If you want to go deeper still, you can hinge from the hips. See if I bring your elbows down toward that lifted shin. Just take it to where you can. Now with your next inhale, bring yourself upright. Hands to your hips, left knee lifted for a moment. And then to set that foot down. When you're ready, with an inhale, reach the arms up high. Exhale, fold this all the way down. Inhale, lift up halfway. And then with the exhale, set your hands. Let's take that low curl again. So grip the floor, heels up, knees outside the arms, squeeze in right away. Lean forward, toes to touch when the feet lift. Now pull the elbows back, bring your shoulders down to where you can. Squeeze the arms and lift back up. Pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders down. Squeeze in and lift again. Pull the elbows back, bring your shoulders down. Squeeze in and lift one more time. And then take it through another vinyasa. All right, let's even all that out on the other side. With an inhale, raise your left leg high. Bend the left knee, hang the left foot right, stack your hips, take that last scorpion dog. With an inhale, straighten this out through like a dog. Exhale forward, knee to chest, shoulders over wrists. Inhale your left leg high. Exhale forward, knee to chest. Inhale the left leg high. Exhale forward, knee to chest, stay forward. And take your side plank, right hands your base, roll to the outside edge of the right foot. One foot down, one knee down, or with your legs stacked, hips up, reach your left arm high. Now if you're going to move, bring it down through center, left hand to the floor, right arm reaches up. Back through center with the right hand down, left arm up high. Through center, left hand down, right arm reaches up again. And then back through center, right hand down, reach up with the left arm, hold here. And maybe lift the left leg off the right. Take an inhale. Exhale, left hand forward, left foot forward, low lunge. From here to your warrior one, with an inhale, drop the right heel, hands to your hips, and then bring yourself all the way upright again. Deep bend left knee, straight right leg, both feet flat, right foot points to the side at least a little bit. Pull your right hip forward, left hip back, keep your hips squared. And then bring your hands to your low back, find the inner lace that feels strange, opposite of what you just had. Now pull the palms together, keep your shoulders drawn back, keep your chest open, keep looking forward. Take an inhale, and then with the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, come down low inside that left thigh. Inhale, bring it up all the way. Exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, and take it down again. Inhale, lift back up one more time. With the exhale, hinge from the hips, lead with your chest, look forward, and maybe just hold here. Now, if you want to go deeper, you can hang your head, you can round this down, maybe press your knuckles toward the ceiling and stretch your shoulders. If you're going to go further, try to touch your torso to your left thigh and maybe straighten your left leg. Keep pulling that left hip back and right hip pulling forward, whether that left knee is bent or not. Take an inhale. Exhale, release. Both hands down around the left foot. Lift the right heel. Slide that foot back. Come into your low lunge. Let's bring up to warrior two. With an inhale, drop the right heel, lift your torso, wimble the arms, open to the right side, and settle in. Deep bend left knee, straight right leg, and again, one line from the front heel to the back arch. You can always slide that left foot forward and lengthen this out. Now stay open to the side, reach the arms up high, palms facing in, keep your shoulders reaching, and go back and forth. Inhale, reverse, reach back, lean back, gaze up high. Exhale, extend it forward, keep looking up. Inhale, reverse this. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extend forward one more time. Stay forward. Right hand to the right hip. You can rest the left arm on your left leg or reach the left arm down inside the left leg. Keep the tension with the arm push and leg pushing into each other. If you're going to go low, bend the left elbow. Keep that hand off the floor. Tuck the left hip onto the right best you can. If you want to go further, sweep the right arm forward. Reach with the bicep above your ear. Even further, you can straighten that left leg, but you're still open to the side. (sighs) 
With the next inhale, bring yourself up, right hands to your hips. Turn the left foot, so it's power to the right. Bend the right knee, lean right, lift your left heel, and drag that left big toe over to all the weights on your right foot. Come to standing with your left knee high. Now, once you're stable, left hand to your left knee, pull it out to the side. This could be your pose. You can stay here. If you want to go further, right arm down, reach about 45 degrees away, and then maybe look down the length of the right arm and start to lean right and lift your left knee. This is plenty, but if you want to go further, you can reach inside the left leg, find the big toe. Maybe use that grip and pull the knee higher. Maybe extend the leg, but you're still leaning wherever you take this to. Still balancing. Slowly come back up. Right, Woo, hands to your hips. Left knee to the side. I was going to lose it, but I didn't. All right, when you're ready, step that left foot to the front. Now lift the right heel, square your hips forward. And then come to standing with your right knee high this time. When you're ready, move into your figure four. Right ankle crosses your left thigh. Toes curled, knee to the side, sink into your stance. And then reach the arms out wide. Take the eagle bind, right arm under, left arm over. Cross at the elbows, palms to touch thumbs with your face. Keep the arms squeezing, shoulders down, elbows up. And maybe sink further into the stance. This is good enough. If you want to go further, hinge from the hips. Maybe bring the elbows down toward that lifted shin. Keep the gaze forward. Just take things to where you can. All right, slowly with an inhale, bring yourself up. Hands to your hips, right knee lifted. And then set the right foot down. When you're ready with an inhale, reach up high. Exhale, fold all the way down again. Inhale, lift up halfway. And over the exhale, set your hands. We'll take it to curl one more time. So press your palms flat, heels up, knees outside the arms again. Come down low. Look forward, lean. Toes to touch when your feet lift. Keep your legs squeezing in. Pull the elbows back. Dip your shoulders down to where you can. Squeeze in as you lift. Pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders down, and lift back up again. Pull the elbows back, dip your shoulders down, and then lift up one more time. And take it through one more vinyasa. Once you find it down, dog, move around. Now let's take it to half pigeon. With an inhale, raise your right leg high behind you. With the exhale, bring it forward. Right knee behind the right wrist, right ankle somewhere behind the left. Now go ahead and set your left knee down, flatten your left foot, and pull the left hip forward. Keep it in line with the right. Now sink your weight straight down and look for at least some of that stretch on the right side, out of hip or toward the glutes. Now you can just sit up, right? Keep your spine extended. Maybe go deeper toward a back bend. And if you want to melt it down, you can take it to the elbows. You can come down all the way. Just take it to where you like right now. Nothing wrong with resting this pose if that's what you need. All right, now from here, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. When the hands are close enough, pull your belly and back the hips up over your left knee. And then just slide that right foot back, bring yourself into all fours. We're going to take this to a four bow. So I want you to lower yourself onto your belly. And once you're down, chin to the mat, arms at your sides. And just take it slow here, bend into both knees and reach back with both hands. Now grip what you can, the feet, the ankles, maybe the shins. Now, most of the time, people take the outside edge. If you want to go even deeper for more of a shoulder opener, you can reach to the inside edge of your foot. Just options here. Just take whatever grip you can. Now, when you're ready, with an inhale, just lift your head, neck, and chest and look forward. Keep your chest pulling forward and then kicking your hands. Now, draw your shoulders forward to lift your knees up higher. As the knees lift, squeeze them toward each other, not too much outside hips with distance. Keep your glutes engaged. 
bring your weight forward toward your belly. Reach the crown of the head toward the ceiling and just breathe with this here. Take an inhale. With the exhale, bring it down. Arms at your sides. Chin to the mat. You can windshield wipe your legs side to side if you need that to loosen up your back. But when you're ready, go ahead and set your feet down. The hands come back under the shoulders. Pull your belly and lift up to all fours. And then tuck your toes. Hips up high, come into down dog. Now once you're ready here, let's take it on the other side. So with an inhale, reach the left leg high. And with the exhale, bring that leg forward. Left knee behind your left wrist up ankle, somewhere behind the right. Right knee down, right foot flat behind. Pull that right hip forward. Keep it in line with the left and sink your weight straight down. Look for at least some of that stretch on the left side, out of hip or toward the glutes. Now again, you can just sit this up tall. Maybe take it toward the back bend. You can melt this down if you like. Just take it to where you need to here. Right, again from here, if your hands are forward, walk them in close. And then pull your belly and back the hips up over the right knee. Now go ahead, slide your left foot back. Bring yourself into all fours. And let's take that floor bow again. So bring yourself down onto your belly. Chin to the mat, arms at your sides. Now go ahead, bend into both knees and then reach back with both hands. Again, find whatever grip you can. If you want a little bit extra, you can bring your hands to the inside edge of your foot. But again, just take the grip that works for you here. And sometimes just reaching your feet is enough. Now when you're ready, with an inhale, lift your head, neck, and chest, and look forward. And then kick into your hands. Now as you're kicking, pull your shoulders forward to lift the knees. And keep your glutes squeezing. Squeeze the knees toward each other a little bit, not just let them go out to the sides or wherever they want. And keep your chest pulling forward, crown of the head reaching toward the ceiling. Bring the weight toward your belly, and keep breathing. Take an inhale. And with the exhale, bring this back down. Arms at your sides, and again, you can windshield wipe the legs side to side if you need. And then once you're ready, just bring your feet down, hands under the shoulders, belly in, push up to all fours. And then from here, we're going to take it into peacock. So let's take the setup that we took at the beginning with the wrist stretch. So bring your knees out wider than your hips, point the toes in toward each other, and then walk your hands in close. Now, just like before, you're going to set your hands down on the line that you can draw between your knees. Palms down, middle fingers at least 90 degrees right or left. And if you can, see about rotating the fingers further, further back. If you can go there, the wrist stretch is actually part of the pose. But just come to that rotation as far as you can. Now, when you set your hands down, go ahead and arrange this so you can pull your torso between the upper arms and bend the elbows in towards something firm, your rib cage or the muscles of your core. So the hands might be wide, they might be narrow, but you've got to get the elbows underneath you to come into this pose. Now keep your fingers gripping the floor, look forward, let the knees go out wider, put more weight in the arms. And then it's all leverage from this point, so take it slow. So look forward, pull your chest forward, try to hold a back bend in your upper back like you're coming to Cobra. And then as you lean your shoulders forward, let your legs get light. And it's easiest to do this with bent knees. Now if you want to take it further, you can extend your legs out to the sides in a straddle. And if you want to bring the legs together, you just got to keep that forward lean and keep your glutes engaged. So feel it out, take it to where you can. Try to come into it slowly. And keep in mind, there's a tendency to just teeter-totter and bring your face to the floor if you go too fast. So hold tension and try to control the lift as you come into the pose. Now you're welcome to work that entry again, but I've got a second entry for you here, which is a little bit more direct. And some people find this easier, some people find it harder, it all depends. But this is from plank. So to come into this, just bring yourself into your plank shape. Hand, shoulder, whisk, step your feet back, bring your body in line and start with your legs together. And then bring the hands close to your feet. Slide them back about one hand's length. Now from here, keep your palms down. And then adjust the position. So rotate your fingers at least 90 degrees right or left. You can go further back. And then you've got to bend the elbows. Pull your chest forward between the upper arms. And set your weight on the elbows here. Now once you're down, keep looking forward. And if you want to do this with straight legs, you just got to lean forward to lift. For most people, the knees bend. Slide the feet forward, let the knees go wide. 
and then lean forward to lift your feet. Now again, you can take that straddle legs to the sides or squeeze the legs together. Keep your belly pulled in, keep your gaze forward. And one of the big tricks here is trying to hold that back bend in the upper back so your face is still moving forward, looking forward, rather than just rounding down to the floor. Now it's not an easy pose, but it's definitely not impossible. If you want to work that further, feel free. And if you're ready to move on, just come to a seat. And we'll take this into a twist and we'll move into Lord of the Fishes. So for this, bring the right heel outside your left hip. And then step your left foot outside your right thigh. Now take a moment, get both foot bones down to the floor. You can always extend your right leg straight if you need to. Now either way, set your left hand down behind you. Inhale your right arm high. And with the exhale, bring the right elbow down past your left thigh. Now sit up tall, crown of the head toward the ceiling. Look back over your left shoulder. Use your right arm, press into your left leg. Keep extending up as you're twisting. And just breathe deeply here. Each time you exhale, try to go a little bit further. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring both hands over to the right side. Lightly open your chest up to the right. And then just turn back to center. Hands behind. Lean back. Untangle the legs. And take it the other way. Left heel outside the right hip. Right foot outside your left thigh. And take a moment. Get both sit bones down. You can also do this with the left leg extended. Now either way, set the right hand down behind you. Inhale your left arm up high. And with the exhale, bring the left elbow down past your right thigh. Now reach the crown of the head toward the ceiling. Look back over your right shoulder. Use your left arm. Push into the right leg. Keep extending up as you're twisting on this side. And just keep breathing here. Take a deep inhale. And then with the exhale, just release this. Bring both hands to your left side. Lightly open your chest up to the left. And then turn back to center. Hands behind. Lean back. Untangle the legs. And come all the way down onto your back. Now once you're down, pull your knees to your chest. Squeeze everything in tight. And let's take it to happy baby. Reach between the knees. Take hold of the outside edges of your feet. And then stack your ankles above your knees and pull down. Now draw the knees toward the floor outside your ribs. Press your feet up into your hands at the same time. Keep the tension working both up and down. Try to flatten your spine, sink your tailbone down toward the floor. And then if you want to take this further, you can rock a little bit side to side. Further still, you can extend your legs out and can see grip. And then finally, take a deep inhale here. Draw it down as much as you can. And then with the exhale, just release. Extend your legs out fully. Lay your arms to your sides. Open up your palms to the ceiling. And just let your eyes close here. Let your body sink down into the mat. And then start to move bit by bit, fingers and toes, arms and legs. Take a deep inhale here, reach your arms out long past your head. And then just draw everything in, bring the elbows toward your chest, pull your knees up as well. And find your way up 
to a comfortable seat. Ground yourself into the mat here, stack your spine. And then bring your hands up to heart sun. Now take a deep inhale, hold on to it at the top. And just let everything go. Uh, thank you for joining class. Namaste.